What's up guys? My name is Asher Spartan7 and as you can tell by the video, I'm going to let you guys know who won the Clash of the Titans operations. And here it is. Clash of the Titan, Russia wins. Did a really good job of guessing. The only reason I guessed that Russia would win is because, to be fair, they didn't lose the past two times. And all the players who went with Team America, Team Germany, Team France, if they were kind of upset and annoyed that China won, they would have went with Russia. And would have put them completely out, just like I did. So, for Team Russia winning... They managed to score 1.5 versus Team China, which is a 1.4. So it was pretty close. But if I remember correctly, the gap between a 0.4 and a 0.5 is like uh, 100,000 points. No, not 100,000 points. I, 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 I think it's like 1,000 points. Not 100,000 points. I think it's 1,000 points difference between both teams. So China did give it their best, but obviously Russia has won. Rewards are scheduled to be to go out live at 1900 UTC time, and right now it's 2131 for me on April 24th, which I think is today. Log in before the 4th of May to claim them if you support a team Russia, and you will also qualify for these rewards. Two war chests. 10 extra combat rations, so for like Russia it would probably end up being chocolate. Uh, free flag vouchers, so I get to have uh, free flags that I can put on any tank for free. 5 times 2 silver boosts, 5 times free group, sorry, 5 times free, times free XP boosts, and 5 times 4 crew boosts. Divide of all fights, the fight to end all fights. Clash of Titans is coming. Okay, so that's that's obviously their old operation to let us know uh, what all was meant to be happening within the event. That is what I get right there. So, if this is the 24th, and not 100% sure because I just go on day by day and I don't really uh, care about anything, let's go and load up all the tanks. And if it happens, we'll do our two war chests that we would have got for free for being one of Russia's champions. And the last time that I was one of Russia's champions, I got obviously the champion M4. Now, I will admit the champion M4 was a bit of a letdown for a tank to get. But then again, what do we expect? We were facing American. They had to do an American-based tank just in case America would have won. But there was no chance in hell Russia was going to beat them. I don't think I've seen America come top of the board once in any of these uh, championship battles. I mean, yeah, they did put out Germany with the Clash of the Titan Final Four. Because uh, it was... The Final Four teams was America, Germany, China, and France. It From last to first, it was Germany, America, France, and then China. Uh, everyone was very confused, though, on how that actually happened. Because when you rolled into battle, you seen a ton, and I mean a ton, of American and German vehicles. And everyone's bet was pretty much, you know what, we already know what's going to happen here. Russia or America will win this championship and become the new champions. And they will go off to face against Russia. And if it was Russia against America again, I don't know what the tank would have been. It would have been pointless, so... Okay, yeah, I could see why they wouldn't do it. Uh, Germany versus Russia. I'm pretty sure... Uh, Russia beat them the last time that they encountered one another. Oh, and that's the new thing that's out. The Warlord Panther. Tell me that does not look sexy. Black and gold. It's Japanese as well, just to fuck with everyone. It's a Japanese tank, but everyone knows a Panther tank is German. And to be fair, the standard Panther in the game sucks. The Panther 2 sucks. So, that will happen. Okay, so we'll go into multiplayer. Yeah, I don't have Xbox Live at this point in time. Um, I think I'll be getting it. I might get another one soon. 
And obviously, I've been using up my free days. I should have seven days. I have two days left. So if I go to store specials, okay, I can't claim them. So it must be tomorrow that I will be able to claim my rewards for being part of Russia's champion chip players. I was going to say one of Russia's champions, but I'm not really the best. To be fair, the tanks that brought in the points for me out of all of these. Uh, it was the KB2 brought in a grand total, I, I think it was 8 points. The Churchill Free brought in a single point, which was a very big letdown. And then for me to finish it off and to get the last amount of points that I needed, the Moverland hauled in 6 points in a single game, and I got my qualification. And straight afterwards, the IS-7 brought in 5 points right after it, just in case I didn't get them. But anyway, I will do a video of me doing the war chest opening to see what I would have won. Knowing my luck, it would probably be fucking premium and more premium. Which will annoy me, so I might delay the war chest until I get Xbox Live. Because if I do end up getting multiple days of uh, premium time, I'd be only be able to use one day of it. And the other day would pretty much just be wasted away. So, I will leave it until I can get Xbox Live thinking about it to uh, do the war chests so until then guys if you went with team russia well done amazing and i'll catch you all whenever i do the war chests